Levin Jr. I think the most annoying thing was the second Leffen beat Zane. I had like three people come into my chat. Do you think Leffen will go chic against you? If so, what face you plan on playing? And I'm just like, God damn it, bro. God damn it, bro. My bad. This guy's on a box, by the way. Sheik, I'm, I'm playing Sheik against Zayn now online. Fuck space, he's, he's yupping the song. Pump Jr. wins these? Mm -hmm. Dude, I love Moki's typers. It's good. I still say Mango Typers is the best typers on the site. Cause look at it. Mango Typers just conveys the emotion of somebody who's just typing away angrily. He's so good. He's just like his little face, dude. That's a fucking no Sheik has ever done that. Am I right or am I wrong? Oh fuck me. <laughs> I feel like playing Sheik against Fox, I'm gonna play Sheik against other characters and be like, this is so much easier. It's like I'm practicing my Sheik in the fucking time chamber. Oh, fuck. Sheik's pretty straightforward with some things, I think. Her punishes. But her neutral is really unique. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I'm living because I have chic angles. Fuck me! Pop Jr. in the heezy! It's never not funny making. Dude, you realize that I'm more making fun of Kadoran than Meets King, right? It's like it's a double joke. Dude, somebody. Okay, so Cody was talking about like making fun of other players or whatever. He said something about like other players. Other players would probably play if um I never want to talk about that. Would play if like chat wasn't as mean to him. Said something about like PP and then I was like something about Mitsu King and then I said Mitsu King lost to Kadoran as Sheik. Pretty much making fun of Kadoran because Kadoran loses to every Sheik ever. That's like his Kadoran cannot be Sheik. And then someone said. Mango's been Mango made it okay for us to bully Meets King, and I'm like, what are you talking about? What what does that even mean? People act like on my channel, I'm just like making fun of people like all day long, you know? Like all I do all day is make fun of people. It's like no. I just throw in like a little joke here and there. But I swear some people make it seem like we're just making fun of people. Also, I think like this is the whole like This is the whole like Like if you if I say something you guys go make fun of somebody else, it's like I'd prefer you not do that, but I'm also at a point where like I can't get like people are like you should watch what you say because you have such influence. But it's like with that logic, if every streamer, every melee player had to like strictly watch what they say, like things would be so boring. People wouldn't be allowed to be themselves anymore. And at the end of the day, I think like it's like I don't know. There's only so much like at the end of the day you guys are all fucking grown men and what you choose to say is like on you. Like, you, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, it's like, I could, like, tone things down, but at the end of the day, like, I can't control what people say. Like, I'm not gonna change what I have to say. Pump Junior! <laughs> so it's like, I always say, like, I, like, you know, whatever. I also have the 18-year-older thing on my chat, so it's like, I assume most of you are, you know, older, and you shouldn't just go around saying shit. But you know, like, I don't see, like, Mango Nation going around in other chats, like, being annoying and, like, parroting what I say all the time. And I'm in every Melee chat. And I don't really see, like, you know, people, like, being annoying in other chats. Because chances are, if you're Mango Nation, which all of you, 90% of you are, you're probably subbed to, like, Moki, or, like, Cody, or Johnny, or whoever. Like, Mango Nation's not just my fan base. Chances are, a lot of people here like other players. 
So I hate when people are like, mango this. I'm like, bro, my chat is like uh, uh, the combination of like everybody. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, leave my chat out of it. My chat's a little bit of everybody. I promise you that. It's not like they're just diehard mango fans. They're also subbed to other streamers in the melee community. Some of you probably only subbed to me. But I promise you, like, you know. Well, Cody's thing was that HBox chat went into his chat after and, like, made fun of him. I'm just saying, you guys have never done that. If it was Mango Chat who did that, there would have been a Reddit thread. Like, I, I agree with Cody to an extent, but I also think it's on Cody to, like, handle it better. At the end of the day, like, it, it's both. In a, the thing is, in a perfect world, I wish everybody was nice and, like, not fucking annoying to people, like, when they're playing. But at the end of the day, that's not the case. And I don't think it's a community thing. I don't think it's be like, I wish the community got better. That's just the internet nowadays. People are just so fucking comfortable that they will say anything without realizing, you know? That's more of just a new generation thing. You know what I mean? That's not just a competitive thing. That's just, that's just, that's just online culture nowadays. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, I'm on Cody's side, but it's also like, we're streamers, dude. Like, this is the fucking job we pick. And I'm not saying it's okay, but that that's just part of the fucking job, unfortunately. I agree, though, every Smasher should do sub only. But I also think, okay, this is my theory. Let me go on a rant real quick. About... No, 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 you'll, you'll probably fuck me up on conch. I'm trying to... <laughs> I'm trying to get these free uh, Sora box ones to uh, make my chic look good. I'm trying to farm these sort of boxes. Right there. So like when you lose in tournament You're just stuck here with your chat and you're streaming and it just sucks, right? I rise when you lose in person um, You hang out and then you get to hang out with everybody and like at a tournament No one's mean to you when you lose like if you go to the VIP room after you lose It's nothing but players and like crimson blur and everyone knows not to say anything mean and like everyone's open like, when you lose, like, everyone's, like, uh... You know, like, no one's gonna be a dick to you in the VIP room. Because everybody knows to leave you alone. And, like, if you want to vent to somebody, somebody will be there. Like, after I lose, like, I'll go find, like, Joey or something. I'll just be like, that's fucking stupid. This guy fucking sucks. And he'd be like, yeah. And I'd be like, yeah. I'm like, I feel better now. But if I say that online, if I lose to Zane and just start bitching, I look like a little bitch. But at a real tournament... I can just go and vent to like J-Bone or Johnny and they're not going to judge me because we're all players, right? I think that's a big part of it is like on stream, like people see you as weak or salty because you're like complaining after you lose, which is really annoying because like, have you ever competed? Like, I guess I should be thankful. You should be salty or upset a little bit when you lose. And I think that's totally normal. Iron Aiden, what's up? Like that's totally, you, you, you know, that's, but I think in person, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, in person, you're allowed to, like, go through a more natural way of losing. Whereas, like, online, like, let's say I just lost and I'm just like, Oh, fuck, man, like, I don't know, man, then someone in the chat, everyone's in the chat's like, You tried your best, man, and even then, I don't want to read that. You don't want to read shit when you lose. But you do, and then, like, you want to be happy, and then, like, a few fucks say some mean things, and you're just like, mm. And, like, I feel like on LAN, and then, like, after you lose at a tournament, you at least can talk to everybody after. Like, if I lost to Cody, four hours later, I'll be like, oh, you bitch. And then we'll talk about the set, and he'll be like, yeah, and I'll be like, yeah, and he'll be like, yeah, and I'll be like, I'm gonna fuck you up next time. He'll be like, no, you're not. I'm like, fuck you, you little bitch. And then it, like, progresses better. But, like, online, it, like, it doesn't, it, it like, doesn't, like, mature and grow up right. I guess I should be you know what I mean? I don't have to say it. It's like when you lose, it's like a process. But when online, it just goes, like, you lose, and then you're just down here. And then it's just like, fuck. But when you lose in person, you have time to be alone. You have time to vent. No one's going to make fun of you for being like, whatever. And I think that's why I also don't like online tournaments. Because like, I don't know. You can't, you don't lose properly. You, you don't like develop your losing spirit properly. Because you just instantly read your chat. And like, I know you guys are being nice. And you're like, nice try, man. We'll get them next time. But it's like, sometimes you don't want to read that. You just want to be like, I don't know. Like, you kind of just want to be salty <laughs> from losing, you know? But you can't do that on stream, or else everyone, like, calls you whatever. So it's like, I feel like we're missing that. And that's something, like... 
something with online that like isn't the same feeling. No, I think at the end of the day, you guys can say whatever. I can just be like this, this, and that. And that's just part of the job. At the end of the day, that is part of the job. But that's also why I, I think I don't like online tournaments. They're brutal. Also, I hate losing and just sitting here in front of you guys. Like, it sucks. Even when I've, like, lost his A and I was like... And I had to sit here and everyone's looking at me. I'm just, like, the second place monkey. I'm just like... Like, I don't want to sit here, but it's like, I'm streaming, so it's like... It's really weird to mix streaming with competing and like i don't think they're meant to be i think hbox does it right because he like makes it like a fucking circus act but like i respect competition too much to like be a fucking clown while i compete because i want to compete and i take it serious you know what i mean so it's like i just don't think both things are meant to they're not meant to like intertwine you know? that's what i think so i think at the end of the day it's like i don't know I think the only person who really likes online tournaments is like HBox. That's because he makes bank. You know how many subs I got when I beat Moki? Like seven. You know how many subs I got when I lost to Zane? Zero. It's not like I'm raking it in online. HBox has a formula, so of course he loves online tournaments. Because win or lose, he's making out like a bandit. He's making out like a bandit. But nobody else has that. Nobody else like goes crazy, you know? Cause so it's like not as, I don't know, it's not as fun. I promise you if every Melee streamer was getting like hundreds of subs every time they won or lost, like more people would like it. But none of us really, even me, I don't I don't make that many subs when I win or lose. I always say when I won mix up, I got more subs for beating Sonic like the week before than I did winning the tournament. I guess it's your turn. So it's also say. like, it's just like not as fun. Uh, you don't, you're not making as much as everyone makes it out to be. So I'm like, I'm team fuck online tournaments for like all these reasons. They're just not worth it. What's up, Chili Doo? I think the meta, yes, yeah, to play like a stupid character. I guess I should be thankful. Uh, Thermosox, thank you. But um, at the end of the day, like, you know, I think online, I think we're all over online. I, I, like, does anyone even like, like, I think Blood Tournament was good. I think we needed a big online tournament, which is why I sucked it up and I played sick and I entered. It was for that reason. Because me, I'm like... I'm like the Naruto of Melee. I just gotta do what's right for the community, even if I don't want to. And, you know, soccer is being a bitch or whatever her name is. I gotta do what I gotta do. And I did it for that reason. But I did not want to. Didn't want to, but I had to. We can't afford for it to be over. We can't predict COVID. It looks like, I mean, I haven't even, I haven't heard anything about COVID. So like, I, guess I, should be thankful. I feel like it's dying down. I feel like we're, we're like in the end game. I don't know much about it. I'm not doing research. But it feels like we're, like, close to living at least what will be normal as of today's standards. It feels like we're kind of close. What close might be, but I feel like, I don't know. I feel like maybe in a few months we'll see. I don't think things will ever be normal normal. But I think we can, we're going to have to go to a point where it's just, that's the new norm. We'll see, though.